I don't even know if I'm supposed to talk about this. Of the wrist and... Okay, y'all. Huh? Let's go away. I need boots. I have a caramel macchiato. It looks so perfect. Though. And the grill cheese. If they got my, if they got K, I'm getting the cup. They got it. I need my um a tripod. Oh, I'm gonna eat my rice before it get cold. Look at this show. This looks so good. Um, but the mega mm. I don't know how some cheap boots. Oh, I don't like nice. I don't like no red chill. Oh These are kind of cute. I really don't like a red, but I think we'll put on mine. But I need like a basic boot, like. That I can wear. You like these boots? They're ugly. This is dress number one. Cute. It has the little slit detail on the side of the wrist, and it's the little ribbed. Material, I mean, ribbed um, design. I like it, I think it's cute. I want to like fix my hair, do my makeup. I'll feel more confident in it because more put together. I like this though. So, this is the second option. It's like a t shirt dress that has pockets. Um, I think this is an extra large, just oversized on me. <sighs> I'm not really feeling it. Maybe I gotta change that necklace up or something. But I don't know. What y'all think? Uh, it, it's not really flattering my body, I don't think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Way too small. Like, way. Too tight, too small, uncomfortable, showing all that thigh action, the thigh ripples. Nope. It's a no for me. If it was in a bigger size, maybe, but this is a small. I'm I'm, I'm dead wrong for even trying on a small, y'all, because I'm nowhere near small. But nope. Okay, here's another one. I really like this one. This is really comfortable. And it's not making me look like a little bag of laundry. It's really comfortable and it's cute. I like, I might get this one. But the green one is still like in my book. But this is number two. And I have the same one in another color. I'm about to, I'm about to put that on. I think this is a, what size is this? Oh, this one is a medium. I have one, the other one in a large and a different color. I'm about to try that on. Okay, y'all, uh, this is the other dress this is the what size is this large i was more comfortable in the medium this is like a nightgown on me look at my belly just put it 
this one. I don't really like this one. Y'all, when y'all go try clothes on, make sure you have your makeup down, your hair crispy, because that really do <laughs> make a difference in your decision in which you decide to get. Because right now, I don't think anything looks flattering, flattering on me right now. Just because I look busted, you know. But, whatever. <sighs> it's comfortable, but I feel like I'm going to bed. I don't, I don't really like this one on me. That's why I need my tripod. Pretty good. New Craven Unlocked, y'all. Look at this. So good. It's a hot, spicy pickle with this crap on top. Ooz Tube Cherry Flavor. <coughs> I put a little bit on the top. And I got some tahini. I should sprinkle some tahini on it. But I got some more, too. So good. I'm going to do a haul in a second to show y'all what we got from Target. So, I'll get this little boy off the bus first. I don't know where my um oh it's right here. Hee <laughs> hee. <sighs> you all pray for me. At this point, that's all you can do is pray for me. What did I do to deserve this, Jesus? I don't know. Ooh, I like the light right here. It's giving. Ooh, it's giving slide down. We ain't going down, baby. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got from Tarjay. I'm glad they come with the... Because everybody don't have chip clips. I like this. It's pretty good. S'mores, <laughs> s'mores chewy granola bars. Let me try to get a thumbnail. <laughs> These are so good. The jalapeno cream cheese wonton. Got the bold nacho cheese taco shell. Some cookies. Behind mugs. I think I saw this on Chelsea Janae um blog channel. These are so cute. It's two mugs. I got this huge mixing bowl. Well, it's not huge, it's cute. <laughs> it's literally cute, but it's like a I thought it was a drinking mug, but it's a mixing bowl. Cupcake mixing bowl. No, ceramic mixing bowl. Let me a K. Okay. I got a strawberry lemon poppy. I tried the Ali Pop and now I'm trying the poppy. I got a couple of pans of green beans for dinner one day this week. Got cran tropical, which is one of my faves. I like the cran pomegranate, cran cherry, cran peach, peach, white peach, or something like that. And I like the cran tropical. Oh, okay. Snapple. You need some aluminum for you. I'm gonna bake some cakes with the kids. 
look at these. Cute. I don't know what this supposed to be. What's this supposed to be, y'all? Uh, an acorn or something? Kitty cat. Ain't this cute, y'all? It's adorable. And one for Javi, one for Javi. Cowboy boots. I thought these were so cute. But this dress, the green dress that I tried on. I went with this green dress. The green one. Y'all gonna see when I tried one. If y'all didn't, if I didn't put it in before this clip. These gold bracelets. And these little boots. It was on clearance for only $17.50. And so was the green dress. But yeah, y'all. That's the end of um that i don't know if i'm gonna end the vlog right here because i do want to get my nose and toes done tomorrow so i might take y'all with me um i'm not sure yet so yeah y'all i'm about to try this poppy i forgot you want to try one yeah and it could with my honey this baby good oh yeah y'all why they were selling the um sunshine tab at the brown <laughs> Them here, the sunshine tab at the brown. Um, eight dollars, y'all. Eight season for eight dollars in Target. Almost nine dollars. Is mm. it because she black and they trying to not get her stuff sold? Cause who buying an eight dollar season? I'm not. I don't care if you was, that was the only my family. I ain't buying. It. Say no. That my was the only. That was the only black. Only no, that season. was the only season that was over seven dollars. Period. Yes. Yep. Even a bigger season is what no seven dollars, eight dollars. I just taste prebiotic soda. I right, four grams of sugar. Prebiotics for good, healthy gut, infused with apple cider vinegar and minity sidekick. Tastes mm -hmm. just like Olipop. It has that diet taste. That it's nasty. I won't say it's nasty because I'm used to drinking sodas like this, but <laughs> stop going in and out of my refrigerator. Y'all, my mom's on Google. I Everybody on Google. I looked them Does up. you look up your phone? I looked them up. He's not on there. Oh, he's not on there? No. I'm on Google. I'm on there. I'm mm -mm. Go, I got a lot of stuff in there. Mm -mm. Did you look up Sean? No. I know how to spell it. S E A N O N. I'm going to do my makeup in the morning, y'all, because I'm going to be cute. I'm gonna fix this, y'all. I gotta get this makeup off this lace right here. Oh, I'm getting out of this camera. <laughs> oh, I'm all like, ha ha ha. This ain't glued down. <laughs> what happened? You was just on here. Here you go. Look. Look what pop up, baby. When you put Google. Just your Instagram. Look, let me look up. Uh, hmm, that's funny. Let me look up Sean. See if it's okay, y'all. It's the next day. Is it the next day? Probably two days later, but I went with this outfit. I don't even think I'm gonna go because <clears throat> I'm just not in the mood, you guys. I love being home with my family. Like I, I don't. I don't think we going over there anymore. But I'm digging it. I wish it would cinch me in a little bit. But like I said, y'all, I'm pregnant. So, <sighs> but yeah, his pockets. 
I think it's super cute. I might put on my cowboy boots. I don't even. I might put on my cowboy boots. Cow. I might put on my cow girl boots. I don't know yet. But yeah, I don't know. My face feel like it's look. It feel dry. But yeah, this is the fit. I'll probably button this again. Put it like that or whatever. Amazon, Amazon, Target, Walgreens, Target, and my boots that I'll be putting on, Target. I should have got my tripod so y'all can see how it's looking. Hold on. CPS for me, I am appalled. I would never hurt, harm, danger my children. Like, I'm, I love my children. Like, what? To attach my name to something like that is just wild to me. Remember, if y'all watched my old, old video? It's not even that old. It's like a couple weeks old. And I was frustrated on my couch because I kept getting calls and calls and calls about them complaining about Javi and his behavior. And I was like, why are they? I feel like they're just singling out my child, so on and so forth. Hold on. Yeah, but I felt like they were just singling him out. Like, I'm just like, why? Is there any other kids getting in trouble? Is it my, only my child getting in trouble? Like, why is my child getting calls home every single day? And it was unbelievable stuff. Like, stuff saying he's going to me and he's going to people and he's going to people. I'm just like... My son don't say stuff like that. My son is so sweet. My son does not act like that. Home. Like I'm like, these people are lying on my son. Like, I was that mom. Like, but when I got up and when I went there and y'all seen that clip in that video, I recorded him. He didn't even notice I was there. And I recorded him showing out. But it's just like, what happened for him to get to that point? You get what I'm saying? What happened for um him to respond and react like that? Like, were y'all, you know, antagonizing him? I mean, were y'all making the situation worse for him to to react that way? Because my son doesn't act like this. My son doesn't act like this. If he's upset or something, we're catering to his emotions and we're helping him get through it. We, we're not making it worse, whereas though... He's just acting like a freaking animal. No, absolutely not. So it's just like, I don't want my son in that support room anymore. He doesn't like going in there. And if it's an issue, I'll come get him. Because, no, that support room is not helping him. Having a five-year-old in um, solitary confinement, because that's what exactly what the support room looks like. White walls, white floor, sponge uh, mats and boards and stuff. And that's all that's in there one time that same day of that same video my son had his shoes off and i said why is his shoes off and they were still tied tight double knotted why is his shoes off and still tied double tight double tied you know double knotted tied they're like well he was kicking he was kicking us so we took them off you guys snatched them off because there's no way you took those shoes off and they're still double knotted tied. There's no way. You had to snatch those shoes off. Literally. The shoes, or he have them on today. They're high top shoes and they have really long strings, so I have to double tie them. The strings were not untied. The laces were not loose. And his shoes were off. High top shoes were off. That... Um, raise the red flag as well. Uh, and I'm just like, I don't want my baby, and I don't want my baby in that support room anymore. Nope. So, um, yeah, I have to call the school and make, and get them to make some changes or something because I don't, I, I honestly don't think, even if a child is being disruptive or whatever, like, and to the point where it's so y'all, that specialize in these things, y'all can't calm a child down. Like, I mean, I know some children are just off the hook, but it, at, at some point, it's just like uncontrollable, really uncontrollable. Or are you guys just 
being ridiculous. You get what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> my son don't act like that at home. He don't. And it's just like their word against my child. It's just like he he has no protection in there. You get what I'm saying? And I hate for it to sound like that, but that's how it feels. Like, I don't know. So, I mean, it's just like, mm-mm. But yeah, y'all, that's what's on my mind. It's been bothering me. I was shocked. Um, I'm not ashamed to say they that they were here and I had a visit because I don't do anything wrong. I don't hurt, harm, or danger my children. Um, like I said, I love my children and I'll do anything for my children. For um, that accusation just to be thrown out on me is just like. I was uh, I was shocked, appalled. I'm like, what? Where's what? Like, where's this coming from? Um, but yeah, they call. Oh, Javi did this, ma'am. I'm sorry that happened to you. I hope he has a better day tomorrow. Like, what? Do, what do you want me to do? Um, but at the same, but then again, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Will they manhandle my child? Will they treat him differently than other children? Will they hold a grudge against him because he spat in, you know, a teacher's, the teacher's face? Is she still upset about that? You get what I'm saying? How is he being treated? And it's just like, I'm still shocked and appalled that there's no cameras in public school systems. No cameras in these classrooms, and we have to trust these strangers with our children. And it's just, it's just like, I don't like it at all. I don't. Holland was very vocal and verbal when she was at, when she was Javi age. Javi, he has trouble with vocalizing and expressing himself, um, expressing himself and, you know, and it it kind of frustrates him when he says stuff and people don't understand it. And um, he really can't get his point across. So that upsets him. And I feel like I have to do something to get him. I mean, he has a speech therapist, but I have to get him more help. Maybe they just don't want him in that school and they don't want to deal with a child with that type of behavior. Maybe it's just that. I mean, if you're a teacher or something like that, can you comment below and let me know? Um, I don't know. I have to find some resources and see how can I help him. Um, because it doesn't seem, the school is not helping. I don't think putting him in the support room is helping him. It's not. They say it's getting him to calm down when he's being unsafe. unsafe. How did we get to that point? That's what I'm saying. Why do you guys call me hours after school is let out to tell me about his day? What, and then some of the things that he did during the day, it don't even be on the sheet that he comes home with. It, it'd be extra, extra stuff. So it's just like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I never had these issues before my son started going to school. Since he's been going to school, he's been picking up all types of new things new sayings, all types of stuff, y'all. And this stuff is just so exhausting. And it's just like, I don't think that school is making it any better. Like, I honestly, I don't want to take him out of that school and put him in another school. But how is that helping the situation? Is he going to go? We, I don't know. Is he going to go to the other school and act the same way? I don't know. The teachers in his class are pretty young. They they look like they're younger than me. 
and it's three of them and they still have another teacher's aide in the class and it's just like y'all still can't hold it down like y'all still is all over the place with these children i mean i don't know I don't know. The teachers from back in my day different from the day. It was only two teachers in the classroom. We didn't have all that, all them people, different women, different attitudes. You know. Um, but motherhood is doing a number on me um, in this current season. On top of that, I'm six months pregnant. But I'm going to keep praying about it. And um, I'm going to actually figure out and um, try to get go somewhere and get some help. Because Carroll County, useless. on that department. And, and it's crazy because even in the support room, I have a video, Javi hitting, him, hitting his head on the materials in the support room. I recorded that. But y'all blaming me for something that y'all saw on him? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And it's it's like a cat and mouse game. Now I, I feel like I have to, to protect me and my kids. I have to document literally everything. I'm already documenting it. But I feel like I have to be more in depth. Like literally every single little thing. Like record him after he come home to tell me about his day like i feel like i gotta do that every day i feel now moving forward i feel like um i don't know i don't know y'all it's just so frustrating and it's just so overwhelming so my son can spit in your face pull your hair kick you slap you in the face um, and yeah, he, there's nothing, nothing I could do about it. Literally nothing. I'm, I'm not about to be, uh, getting no calls home, um, and all of that. And my son not about to stand the time out all day either. So whatever y'all are doing, I don't know, be nicer. I don't know what to I don't know what to say. And and I'm not there with him at school, so it's kinda hard to believe anything that they're saying because Javi doesn't act like that at home. Would y'all lie on my child? Like it's to the point where so I'm just thinking so irrational at this point. Like Cause my child, I know my, I know my son, my son would never say he would me. He's obsessed with me. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Ugh. Oh, jeez, Louise. Pay attention. Child, y'all should see this wig underneath this head, but y'all ain't. I revived the curls. I'll probably spray some ocean because it is a little dull right here. And it's more juicier in the back. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, what else? That's all I have to say, y'all. I'm just being open, transparent, telling y'all my feelings. And I really I really can't even express how I really feel. I can't put it into words. Um I really honestly can't. Um, 
know, this is just a phase. I don't want him to just be going to school and having just hate hating it there. You know what I mean? School is supposed to be exciting, fun. You look forward to going to school. And it's just not that for Javi. It's, it's not. It's not that for him. I know kids can be a big influence. How adults react to certain situations can be a big f influence as well. Because a lot of those teachers, they don't be having patience. I'm sorry, they don't. They don't be having patience. They talk to these kids any type of way. Um... I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm supposed to talk about this. I don't know. I should have asked. <sighs> Yeah, I'm definitely going to mention that. I don't feel safe with Javi being in the support room. There's no cameras in there. There's no audio. I can't I can't hear or see what's going on in that support room. I don't feel safe with him there. Um, He hates it there. So I would appreciate... I, I don't want my son in the support room. I don't. I don't. This is not an inst in, um, institution that specializes in that. And I don't think... Um, isolating him is helping him in any type of way. They say they do it because he's being unsafe, jumping on furniture and kicking and screaming. How did we get to that point? How are you not able to calm him down? How were you, like, what precautions were you, were you taking to avoid any of this happening? You get what I mean? It's just like, it, it it's levels before you get to the support room you get what i'm saying oh lord like honestly and i don't deal with that at home javi is like i said he's an angel he's sweet the only thing i might have a problem with is him um having a little tantrum here and there when he can't get his way that's about it like he is not a problematic child but from their perspective and what they witness and go through every day he's the worst child in pre-k right now that's what they seem that's what that's what they making it making him out to be but like i said i'm not gonna keep rambling because i feel like i'm saying the same thing over and over and over at this point y'all and i'm just venting i guess um But yeah, yep. Child. Hmm. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I probably don't even eat. I don't have an appetite, honestly. And that hasn't been like me, because y'all know I've been tearing some food up since I've been pregnant. But. I honestly don't have an appetite. <sighs> I really do want something good to eat. 